Hello. Happy Catterday, if you will. <laughs> what is up, friends? Kutertan, Orochi. Spreadsheets are cool. You keep forgetting to make them. Yeah. I will start projects that have to do with like spreadsheets or taking notes and then I never finish or I forget about them and then I never finish them. And then like two years later, I'm like, oh yeah, I should finish that. <laughs> spreadsheets are really nice. There's so many things you can do in Excel that I don't know how to use. Oh yeah. Excel, there's a piece of fur. Excel specifically is like... I mean, I've been working with it for like, how long have I been at this job? Like six, seven years. And like, there's still shit that I'm like, I'm sorry, how did you do that? <laughs> or things that I'm learning because like someone did something wrong. So now I have to fix it or make it better. Google is really cool. And then I'll learn how to do the thing. I will do the thing once and then I will forget about it forever. Excel spreadsheets are like never ending in their craziness. It's wild. They can do everything. They could probably like. They could probably like organize and rule the world if they wanted to. Excel spreadsheets. Or just general, not even Excel, just like spreadsheets. Spreadsheets should rule the world. They're goaded. Remember so long ago you might only wrote a list what you need to do and then score it off when it's done. Good times. Yeah. In like games, some like I will find lists that people have already made and then use their spreadsheets because it's fun. Yeehaw! Hello, Acton. Yeah. I love lists. I love lists. I love spreadsheets. I love I love all that shit. It's fun. I like organizing things. It's really fun. It's enjoyable. But yeah. Y'all, we got a spreadsheet ready too for this. I'm excited. I done that for Souls 2. Wrote up all the spells, pyromancies, and miracles. Damn. You went for it. That's great. I love that. I did that with Elden Ring. Except I stole other people's lists and then like put them into a, my own spreadsheet. <laughs> I was like, yes, you made this list for me. So I'm going to take it and then make my own spreadsheet with it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you and good night. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. My brain is a little fried. A little bit, it feels like. I feel um, tired, but I also stayed up late. I stayed up late because I was looking at Reddit and then I came across this Olympic post. Did y'all see the break dance, the French break dancer? <laughs> because I showed it to Kitty and he thought it was funny too. Cade, stop. I've had enough of you. Knock it off. Down. Get down. He he has been bothering me for like the last like 30 minutes. I don't know. I'm naughty. Anyway, do you guys see the Olympic break dancer? Like she's from France. And it was really funny. Anyone? I showed it to Kenny. Maybe I'll pull it up because I thought it was so hysterical. <sighs> um... Because it's so bad. Where is it? Oh, she's Australian. She's not French. She's Australian. It was so bad. Yeah, y'all is pretty bad. <laughs> I'll show you guys. They should have taken gold, bro. No. No. Kate. Stop. <laughs> For fuck's sake, lad. Knock it off. Oh, I don't want a breakdown video. I, It's some dude talking. Screw you, guy. She's Australian. 
Australian. She scored zero. Is she's also she's not France, unfortunately. I I messed up, but um, is pretty bad. <laughs> I didn't see the French break desert. I saw the post regarding a guy who had hopes and dreams shattered by his own lethal by his own lethal weapon. Wait, what? Who who, who was that? Yeah, so apparently this is the first time breakdancing has been in uh the um Let's see. This is the first time breakdancing has been in the Olympics. I'm trying to find one that doesn't have any freaking yapping over top of it. I just want to see the freaking. Ah, you annoying people. Just show me the video. <sighs> French Australian, basically the same nationality. No, it's not. It's not acting. I messed up as on me. Pole vaulter. The bar knocked off by his own. Oh, oh. Yeah. The guy whose dongle was so big he knocked the pole off of. Yeah, that that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Damn, strap that thing down, brother. <laughs> Uh, just another yapper. Yeah, breakdancing just debuted at the Olympics. No, where is it? Bro, I'm gonna lash out. YouTube is so bad for this shit. Let me see if I can find it on my Reddit. So that's where I found it and it made me laugh. I literally watched that shit for like 15 minutes straight because I couldn't stop. Like, <laughs> yes, here it is. Okay, let me, <laughs> let me show you. Let me just make sure. Okay. <laughs> Suffering from success. He was certainly fallen, but at what cost, right? I know. So funny. Okay, are you guys ready? To see this break dancing. And keep in mind, girl has like a PhD in break dancing. I thought I was gonna <laughs> This video is so funny to me. The freaking sweeping like the floor. Like th this move right here is some shit I used to do when I was like an a, like a nine-year-old child and being like, look at what I can do. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Like <laughs> when the gym teacher asks you if you can touch your toes. <laughs> I just cannot get over it. I think I I have somewhere like the full, like the actual like full thing, I think. Um, but man, it made me laugh so <laughs> Oh, because it's just so good. Uh, where's the whole video? Because I know there's more. Or I wa I watched another one that had like the whole thing. But anyway, that's pretty much it. And like, oh, I guess maybe I didn't save the whole thing, just the GIF. But man, I laughed for like twenty minutes. That's how I try to adjust my bed covers in a hot summer's night, right? And see, the thing is, too, is that, like, she's she scored really bad. And I watched the other, so, <clears throat> not to, like, out myself, but I took a break dancing in college. Uh, just really basic stuff. Don't ask me to drop it low. I don't remember, like, any. But I watched the other dancers and, like, they weren't bad. They were like things that I learned during the class. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. But what she was doing, I have no idea what girl was doing. I was like, I've never heard or seen a move like that in my entire life. <laughs> Drop it low. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I took uh, I took like breakdance class or and uh, um. It, it was fun. I, I enjoyed it. I, dancing is fun.
I used to take Zuba. Yeah, but that shit made me laugh so hard. I didn't even know they had added, like, that was a new thing that they had added. Give us generous seven on creativity. Yeah, I actually think if if I was reading right, she actually scored zero. Um, <laughs> out of like 18 or, or like versus 18. I guess there are like judges who like vote for who did better. And there was 18 of them and she got zero. So that was, uh, no, I, <laughs> I can't. It's so funny to me. She just did horribly. It was not good. And like, that was only like a section of it. Like I did, you, I, I wonder if I can find the actual like whole thing more because it was just so freaking hilarious uh but yeah she did bad like she did bad and keep in mind girl has like a phd in like dancing or some shit like that <laughs> oh no let's see no let's see here Because I want to see if I can see the whole thing. Most secondhand embarrassment I've ever felt. Let's see here. Uh, no, I want this one. Uh, break dancing more like broke dancing. True, true. Yeah, kangaroo routine, bro. I need to. It was called like a kangaroo routine, bro. It's, <laughs> it's the comments are so funny because it's like this is at the Olympics. <laughs> I fucking can't. <laughs> uh. Hi, Vulpin, Vulpin Bear, Vulpine Bear. Hello, how are you doing? Welcome in. We were just laughing about the Olympics. Oh man, I really cannot find like the full video, and it's gonna kill me because it was so funny. Because it was pretty bad. It was <laughs> pretty rough. I feel, I I feel bad because people are like roasting her so hard, but it's funny. <laughs> Just like the guy from Turkey who took second place in the shooting, like what the what the the gun the gun the pew pew one where he just like stood up and just was like Phew. like he's a meme now too, you know. And the guy who hit his dongle on the bar and pole vaulting like we these the Olympics more like the meme Olympics. All right, chatters, are we ready? I gotta kill hippopotamus. If I have to spend all my time trying to kill this guy, <laughs> have you heard of Tara Stannon? Babe, is that the beatboxer? Do you think you're funny? You think you're funny, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I recognize that, Dave, because you showed it to me. Hi, Tuck. How are you doing? It's good to see you. <sighs> yeah, lol. React. React. Kenny wants me to be a reactor now. Yeah. Um, no. Been sick, but you're good. Oh, dang. Are you recovering? Are you still, are you still sick? Hope you get better fast. <clears throat> It is Dongle on the bar. Who? Hi, Vanix. Uh, the Olympian. He was pole vaulting and he hit his dongle on the bar. Because his dongle was too big. Ooh. Why does it sound so incredibly loud? Recovering 100%. Let's go. Hell yeah. I'm sorry you got sick. That sucks. Being sick is literally the worst. It's so it's good to see you here. I sort of haven't been keeping up with it. Heard it's not that great from friend. Yeah. Eh, 
Olympics are fine. Like, I feel like if there are certain sports that you are into, I'm sh- sure it's exciting. Like, I, I sometimes will, like, catch the volleyball ones because I love volleyball. Um, But other than that, I really don't have a lot of interest in, like, watching it all the time. Like, it's just kind of, I just, like, watch it through the memes. I would lose to goal. I would lose the gold to be known as that guy, to be honest. True. True. Yeah. That is such a mood. I, 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 I mean, was, did he really lose? Did he really lose? I don't think he did. I think he's a winner in my book. <laughs> it's still funny, though. <laughs> he lost points, lol. Well... He wins in my eyes. Good for him. He he lost na- to to be to nature. He lost to nature. Lost points, but won in life. Exactly. <laughs> so. Okay, chat. We're gonna try really hard to not die, to win right now. This freaking hippo who's just like absolute ass. Um, please hit him? Uh, hello? Okay, or not, I guess. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Let me hit him in the face. This, oh, you are so annoying. <laughs> ah. Ah. Yikes, that's super annoying. Under 300 deaths, here we go, yeah. For, we should for sure get that under 300. I will say this, this boss is kind of annoying because when I try to like, you know, I like knock him down, I can't hit him in the eye or like, it's like super janky. It's very irritating. <laughs> Cause that's delicious damage that I'm missing out on. <sighs> Some of these athletes tend to get advertising deals and whatnot with the Olympics. I think that pole vaulter could end up in direct sense. <laughs> Hell yeah, I love that for him. <laughs> True. Always run to the side. Never run away. Okay, I guess you just don't work now. Oh, I'm dead. Yep, I greeted. His attacks are always like one, two. And also, we should just not repost. We should just do the impaling thrust instead, and that will be easier, apparently. Apparently, it will be easier than stunning him. Or than hitting him when he's knocked down. It's because this room... It's because this room is jank as fuck. All right. Brother in Christ, that move is dumb. <laughs> he hit me at the end of it? How am I supposed to survive that? I guess I just rolled late? By like a half a second. Or a half a frame or some shit, I don't know. Just like a single pixel. Also, this frame. Okay, so you're fine now, I guess. That checks out. Fun. 
Oh shit, that was on me. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> it, that was on me. I need to run longer. I greeted and I should not have. I greeted again. I feel like that's like how I die most of the time. I die to greed. That's how I lost to this guy when he was almost dead, too. It's embarrassing. Oh, yeah. I also kind of wanted to ch test um, how fire was instead of lightning. Um, Damage-wise, I wanted to see if he was really weak to fire. Okay, maybe um, it won't be less than 300 deaths if I keep throwing. What the hell is going on? Actually, this is a good time. I want to see what the damage looks like. So, impaling thrust with the uh, lightning is like 2100. Let's see what it is with the fire, because I'm curious. <clears throat> oh, I don't have that one, so I can't use fire. So, never mind. Ignore me. What does a cult do? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just keep doing lightning then. <gasps> Bonk! Hello, Tortellini. How are you doing? It is good to see you. I'm gonna beat this guy right now. No red hot wet blade? Apparently not. I don't know where you get it from. I actually don't know where any of the wet blades come from, honestly. I'm always surprised that I even have them. Holy camera. Ugh. Okay. 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 <laughs> no, no. This boss is so annoying, bro. <laughs> why why does he try to grab me when I'm right next to him? He runs away from me twice, and then when I get near him, he tries to grab me, so then I just get slurped up. Why we why we a miss key item? How can we ever hope to beat this challenge? Listen, how are we supposed to beat this challenge? I killed... What's his face long ago? Bogart. We can never win. Get chomped. Yeah, I got hella chomped on. And also, a key item? I have no idea where key items are. Says the person who played randomizer, I said. I don't know where key items are. I was wondering if I could get in and I might be able to get like an R1. Is he immune to bleed, by the way? I don't think I've bled him a single time. Which I'm surprised. He's not? Oh, I'm just ass then. He is resistant, okay. That makes sense. Cause I was like, man, I've like, I don't think I bleed him. I don't think I have bled him since I fought him. I must brush up on my knowledge. Yeah, just spam this move. <laughs> no, I literally can't do that, bro. Stream elements, why are you freaking out, dude? It is just posting everything all at once. 
I love stream elements. It makes a lot of, it's timers make a lot of sense. Thank you, Acted. Hmm. Hmm. Is the the wet blade for the fire hard to get? Cause I'm probably gonna want it for Shadow Tree Avatar too. Ugh, this, this is so badass. I'm so dead. What the fuck? Let me heal. I'm dead. I'm alive? I can't see. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. That's fucking fantastic. I love that move. Is there anything resistant needs 682 of either Beast Blade or Frost Proc the first time? Okay. No, it's over at Castle Redmane. Ooh. That's why I don't have it. Because <laughs> it's in Castle Redmane. It's on the roof, huh? I think I know where it is. Don't you love when he just goes straight into a fucking grab attack in front of your face? So there's nothing you can do but die? Isn't that hilarious? Uh -huh. So funny. <laughs> hilarious, I love it. I love this game. What? Oops. Nope. I attacked too early. I got needled. Dude, that one move would have been so... <sighs> Who goes to Castle Redmain after beating Radon? Yeah. <laughs> Despair. <laughs> Certainly not. Well, in fact, who even goes through Castle Redmain? I just don't really anymore. <laughs> Actually... Usually I end up just going through the portal that starts the thing. Oh, this is so ass. Yeah, no one actually quite disappointed how irrelevant and small the dungeon is. Yeah, I really wish it had had more. What I really liked about um Convergence mod made it like wild. Out, heal, and dead. <laughs> nice. Especially for a great rune boss. Yeah, it is pretty, like, I think the first, like, two or three times I actually played the game, I don't think I actually went through Redmain Castle. I just went through the portal. And I was like, oh, sick. And then, like, that was it. It wasn't until I did all bosses and I found out that there was a shit duo boss in there that I was like, oh, there's like so much in here, but like who, who actually comes here? <laughs> Sadness. Dude, this freaking second phase is gonna be the death of me, bro. What? I Hello? I dodged. Whatever. I guess not. <laughs> Some caves are bigger than Cast Redmain in both size and content alone. True. True. Yeah, Castle Redmain seems so... Empty. 
Which is funny because it is actually filled with enemies, but like, just like, I never really had like incentive to go there, despite the fact that there's some really good shit in there. There's some good weapons and stuff. But there's just like no reason to. And I kind of feel like it should be a requirement. Like, almost like you have to test your metal in order to like be able to um, fight Radon, right? Like, these people just like show up and they just let them in. Ow. What? Bro. Oh, this boss fight, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna die to this more than like putrescent night or some shit, and that's gonna make me feel bad. But this boss is just so ass. I run away and I die to porcupine needles. I don't run away and sometimes, sometimes you can just stand in the porcupine needles and you won't get hit. Why? <laughs> Maybe they thought braving Kaled on the way to the festival was enough of a test. Maybe. Yeah. Cause what is, what is the thing that like triggers you being able to just use the portal? Is it just doing Ronnie's quest at a certain point? Why not have the turtle talisman on? I'm dead. Nice. I think it's just reaching Altus. Oh, really? See, I never actually knew what triggered it. Having a grace unlocked in Altus. Damn, okay. Noted. I always thought it was having to like. Do Ronnie's quest up to a certain point. I guess not. Um, I, I don't. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. Interesting. See? A thou thousand hours. The more you know. Certainly, I don't know. I'm dead because <laughs> I did that thing again where I go too early and then it's ogre. Bro, this boss is so. Imagine if I wasn't so afraid of his freaking grab attack, like he'd just like grab me in the. He'll gr grab me right next to him. And like if you even are near his mouth when he does that, like the hitbox is huge and he'll just. Slurp you up. It's over. Regressing Ronnie's quest to the point where Blythe says he's going to the festival also triggers it. Oh, okay. So. And that's if you go down into the basement. See, that's probably why I thought that's what it was. So if, it, if there's two things you can do. I don't know. <laughs> I is also I can kill horn scent, bro. Also I can kill horn scent, bro, bro. <laughs> this is worth it. This will be worth it. True, Acer. How are you doing? Good to see you. Welcome in. You are allowed inside. Here, why don't you help me kill this boss? I'm dragging you into the arena with me. You'll love it. 
place is great. I love this boss. This boss is super, um, oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Hilarious. This boss makes a lot of sense and has, um, really great mechanics. Um, yeah, I love this boss. Yeah, again, do it again, yes. Yes, perfect. I'm dead. <laughs> Doing great scrubbing Elden Ring from my brain. Are you playing a different game now? Or, or just taking a, a break? I wish I could scrub this boss out of my brain. Uh, I'm gonna play a new game, Wukong drops on the 20th. <gasps> Hell yeah! You're pre-ordering on the 16th? I love that for you. That game looks pretty cool. I'm really curious to see how it will be. Holy camera fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> the Wukong looks dope. I'm dead. Fuck, why did I do that? That was so greedy. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Yikes. Also, the reason I'm scrubbing from an indie game I'm playing now, circle is to attack, not roll. So I'm dying a bunch because I'm smacking enemies with a hammer instead of dodging. Oh no. <laughs> no, that's so awkward. I hate that. That is pain. I feel that pain. That is super awkward. Huh. Yeah, just do it again. Yes, perfect. Yes, perfect! I never want to attack! Ever! <laughs> Beautiful! Yes. I love this game. I love this boss. And now he's AFK! Fabulous! That's what I love to see. And now he's gonna immediately go for the fucking grab! Dude, I'm so triggered by this guy right now. <laughs> AFK into grab as soon as I get near him, of course. <sighs> Just be calm. Don't be greedy. Do we have a strap for the snake man? Um, don't die. That's my strap. Um, I have been watching other people fight him, though. So they're like, um, I've been studying him. Uh, because, you know, sometimes I have a better time, like, watching and then doing than, rather than just, like, doing. 
Uh, so there's some of the combos that I'm like, what the hell? That I now understand better. Amazing strat, couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, you know. Ow! It doesn't make any sense, brother! <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yes, yes. Sorry, I'm so mad. <laughs> No horn scent later better be worth this fight. I'm going to be honest, it will be. Because horn scent in the game, so the most, the strongest, in my opinion, the strongest NPCs in the gank fight are horn scent, dry leaf, and letta. And you can't, like, you cannot do anything about dry leaf and letta, but you can do something about horn scent. So either I summon him during the Mesmer fight and then fight him alone, which sounds really horrible, or I beat this guy and make Leta do it for me. Okay, ritual shield on, I can't remember. Well, no, <clears throat> excuse me. Ritual shield doesn't really do enough to protect me. Unless I'm doing another protective one, and I want to do just more damage. Unless I have another talisman, an extra one. We just need to stop being so greedy. Stop being greedy, cat. You know better than this. I still get hit! Bro! Are you shitting me? I don't get it! I just don't understand. So dead. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the, dude, the freaking try to grab me right in front of me makes me want to rip my hair out. That is so annoying. Cause like he doesn't even have a say, he just does it. And then I'm dead. <laughs> Hi Sha, how are you doing? I'm this hippopotamus is making me a salty beach. I hope you're having a good weekend. We're gonna get soon. I'm good, I had a pretty chill, you know, I was like, I'm gonna do a whole bunch of stuff this morning and then I did about half of what I said I would do, so I considered that a win. What the fuck was that, bro? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Interesting. I've never seen him do that before. Um, but okay. I didn't notice the hippopotamus's legs are like crocodile legs. Did you see that? That's cute. But also, screw this guy. Baiting on doing spear summoning only after Wukong? <gasps> you should do it. I would love to do one. I feel like it would be so incredibly scuffed and incredibly fun. They seem like a good time. And then it'll be like a part of the game I never utilize, ever. 
See that beautiful camera work? Thank you, Miyazaki. Yes! Yes, of course! The I'm dead! <laughs> Of course. <laughs> that would be pretty silly. I could definitely wait for you to start the run then. That way I can see how the pros do the run. Ooh. Well, for starters, it's probably going to be a while. Because after this, I'm probably taking a break from Elden Ring for a while. We got... I got Bloodborne and, like, Stellar Blade and... Ragnarok. Those are pretty long games, so... It might be a while. I don't know how how long you're trying to scrub Elden Ring out of your brain. But you could do it, and then you could give me pointers. <laughs> I'm dead! That was on me. I rolled early. <laughs> burr burn! Yeah, burr burn! That's fair. We need Bloodborne and Ragnar Rock for sure. Yeah. Bloodborne? Oh, I dream of Bloodborne. I am so excited. Then, once I play it, I can officially put it as, like, I don't know, like, maybe my favorite. I don't know. I just, I already love Bloodborne so much, I've never played it. It's funny. I'm silly. Ragnarok is a cinematic masterpiece. I think you'll like it. I'm excited. I'm excited. I think it'll be really good. I really love the 2018 one. I thought it was just so well done. And I really, yeah, the character development is delicious. It's really good. A hootenamas hoont. Oh wait, a hoonta? A hoot nanny. I don't know why I, my... Okay. Someone explain me the fucking porcupine needles, bro. Yeah. It's like a butt tunnel. Ugh! What? I thought he was doing something else. It was not. But tunnel. True. But tunnel. A junta must hunt. <laughs> wow. Well, oh shit. It, it, was he say exquisite? A hunter is a hunter. Even in a dream. I love that guy. Nicola. She's fucking hilarious. Exquisite. Or whatever the hell he says. It's great. And then Lady Maria grabs you and you're like, Maria and she says like oh mm -hmm. she says like a line and you're like whoa well. <laughs> Someone explain to me the porcupine it doesn't make any sense, brother. that it's not technically required but you know i really wish rolana and dancing lion were required just saying <laughs> you're the only one who likes him listen he he i know his boss is scuffed like no lie like <laughs> i know he's a really scuffed boss but, like, I just think he's interesting, and I think that he has, like, the best lines ever. Oh! Yep, that was on me. Did you see the video I posted with the cut dialogue? Oh, no, I didn't. I did not. I forgot. I was gonna watch that, and I totally forgot. Maybe when I'm stalling, I'll watch it. Because I'm sure I'll stall at some point. Can you get to Mesmer from behind? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you can. If you roll the right direction. Uh, you can get through the church district. I think. Yeah. Because you can get through the church. You can go backwards and then into the storehouse. And then you can just go to the bottom and then go up and into it from the storehouse. Yeah. If you go to the storehouse from the church district, then you can skip this fight. This is not actually required. It's required if you want to do... The Freya and Horn Scent quest, though. 
And that's what I'm trying to do, is I'm trying to kill Hornscent so he's not in Gankfest. I just want Letta in dry, in dry leaf ass. Dry leaf ass, yes. Someone explain to me these fucking porcupine quills. Holy fuck, Aroni, bro. Dude! <laughs> you know, he does it. Uh, does it, 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 it okay, yeah. You mean cloth pisser? Yeah, the cloth pisser. Hi, Aries. Um, how are you doing, a queen? You are here to witness me win uh, right now. Twenty-three percent. Dang, you're more feral than I am. I was like, hello, low. The lies. <laughs> 